Tonight, presumed dead. Reaction to why a search has been called off for a missing Japanese tourist. Legalized pot. Alaskans vote to decriminalize the use of marijuana. What does this mean for Yukoners? Back to the polls. A by-election has been set for a Nunavut riding after the MLA is expelled. I'm meteorologist Christy Kleinhaga watching more heavy snowfall on the way to the Yukon and NWT. I'll have more on that in your full forecast coming up on North Beat. Good evening, I'm Randy Henderson. We begin tonight in Yellowknife where many are questioning why the RCMP called off the search for a missing Japanese tourist. Yesterday, the RCMP said Atsumi Yoshikubo is presumed dead and they have evidence that shows she wanted to disappear. Now, many are asking what that evidence is. And as Aaron Broman reports, some are determined to find the answers themselves. Our investigation has determined that Atsumi Yoshikubo um, came to Yellowknife with a plan to go into the wilderness and become a missing person. For many in Yellowknife, that statement has left too many unanswered questions. Sonia Daigle helped rally the community to find Atsumi Yoshikubo before RCMP called the official search off yesterday. We need some answer. Like, you can't just go and tell everybody that this is what, how it happened and this is what happened without giving us why. Many people in town agree that after weeks of searching and wondering what happened to the 45-year-old, the RCMP's explanation isn't quite enough. Well, what information does the RCMP have to indicate that she wanted to get lost by herself? Like, the, yeah, it's like... Did, did, did she want to get lost? Well, they should uh, be telling us what they're doing, right? They should be, you know, they're, they're funded to do that, right? Maybe keep on looking for something like that. And in and, and certain levels, I, I think, priority one, priority two, priority three levels. And uh, and just not give up. Snow, snow is coming on. And, uh, you know, there's still hope. If they're suspecting that she is past, give us some answer. Did you find a shoe? Did you find a hat? RCMP say the evidence they have that Yoshikubo wanted to disappear and is likely dead is private and confidential. And while the official search is called off, they still hope to find her remains. But even tonight, when Daigle finishes her shift, she's going to go back out to Highway 4, one of the last spots where Yoshikubo was seen, in hopes of finding something. It's a shock to the community saying that they actually plan to be dead and she didn't want to be found. There's, there's, we need some answer. And so is her family. The RCMP say they won't provide any more information at this time as the investigation is still ongoing. Aaron Broman, CBC News, Yellowknife. And Aaron is still following the story. She'll have reaction from Atsumi Yoshikubo's family tomorrow on CBC Radio 1 in the Northwest Territories and tomorrow night here on North Beat. One man is in custody following...